replication is built into Windows Server 2012 standard. It's built into Windows Server 2012 Data Center Edition. It's also in our free hypervisor product, which is called Microsoft Hyper-V Server 2012. And I should point out, I didn't even mention that at all, but at the same time we're releasing Windows Server 2012, we are also releasing our completely free, 100% free, Microsoft Hyper-V Server 2012. Hyper-V Server 2012 is quite simply the hypervisor. Okay, so it is all of the features of Hyper-V, including replica, teaming, storage virtualization, network virtualization. Uh, didn't even get a chance to talk about network virtualization and software-defined networking. We can talk about that as well. But Hyper-V servers also includes all of the capabilities in totality of Hyper-V. So that would have to be deployed separately to service as server? Well, it's Hyper-V server is actually the platform itself. So you install it, it runs on the bare metal, it's just the Hyper-V. So you can run you can run small business server as a guest on top of that free uh, hypervisor, and that hypervisor yes. has all of the features that we just talked about. The other thing to point out is from a management standpoint, we actually have three different ways to deploy server now. We have the core install, and we have the full install, and of course you, you can add and remove these now after the fact. So if you decide to do a full install, you get the machine all configured, you decide, you know what, I'm going to remove the GUI. You go right ahead and do that. You just uninstall the UI and now you're back to heaven. So that's a, a really nice new feature. There's also a middle install that I don't think a lot of people have picked up on. This is actually my favorite for small and medium. But the middle install is just server manager. It's server manager and a command prompt. And I'm trying to remember what the official name is. It's like, I call it Minshell, okay? But it's basically, it's a middle ground. So core is just a command prompt. Full is everything. It's your GUI, it's your shell, it's IE, it's the whole thing. This middle one is a command prompt and server manager. And honestly, for a small, medium business, this is ideal because it gives you all of the management you want to do on the box and remotely. It doesn't have an IE, it doesn't have a shell, it doesn't have any of those other things. It gives you all the things you need to do for management on the box and remote management. It's a nice middle option. So I, I'd urge you to take a look at that as well. It's really nice for a small game.